Hey guys, welcome to a how-to video. Um, I'm just doing a, a timeline on some ancient Egyptian pharaohs and I thought I'd show you how to work uh, the timeline editor website. They do a really cool job of making some uh, pretty creative timelines. So what I've done is I've added in uh, King Tutankhamun's reign and I need to put in the date. So I'm just going to check the dates here on Duxter. So it begins uh, in 1332 BCE. So I'm just going to go in and go 1332. I'm just making sure I've got BC ticked. I'm going to go down to the other one, and his reign ended in his death on 1323. So I'm going to go 1323. And now I'll have uh, a good view on King Tut's reign. You can also zoom in and zoom out as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can also change uh, the position and the color of uh, your uh, times periods. Uh, make sure as well if you want to add in an event, you click on the event. But what I'm doing is I'm adding another time period. That's what I'm doing. So I can zoom in and zoom out and see just how long ago and how separate all these pharaohs were. So these ones were quite close together, even though, you know, it's hundreds of years apart between the first and last. But you can see how Cleopatra was the last um, pharaoh. And that's where the uh, Egyptian dynasty really ended, or the Egyptian empire really ended. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, Definitely use Timeline Editor as a really cool website to use. Um, it's free and it makes a really good um, quality of timeline as well.